What's going on, guys? How you doing? Welcome to the channel. Uh, so you may be like me and just got yourself a Switch over the holidays. Maybe not. But either way, you're looking for a way to protect it when you travel. Now, I looked at all kinds of different cases and, and travel like bags and all those sorts of things. I went to stores. I looked online. And I had a hard time finding one that would suit my needs. Now, your needs might vary. Uh, but all I wanted was something to transport this. Right? I just wanted to transport the system, uh, the, the handheld itself with the Joy-Cons. I didn't really care about whether or not I could uh, pack like a cord like for charging. That I could easily throw in a bag somewhere. So I was looking just for, you know, something relatively compact. It didn't have to be like super slim. There are some slim cases out there. But uh, from owning a 3DS, I also learned that I didn't like it to move around a lot because with my electronics, I, I don't like scratches and not dings and things like that. So I came across something that I found uh, very surprising considering where it's from. So I got this off Amazon and believe it or not, it's by their Amazon basics line, which surprised the hell out of me, this thing. Okay. But it looks like a tank, like, that's a hard ass case. Okay. So I was already impressed by the build quality. It felt like this thing is solid, man, solid, but the outside doesn't always mean, right. It's going to be good. So let's, let's take a look at it. Shall we? Okay. So I got the red one just cause why not? It's red and I can easily spot it. Not like this thing's going to go missing or anything, but, um, here we go. So it's got a little latch, a little slidey latch right here. So it's going to boop, slide it open, pop it open, and here we go. And this is the inside. There it is. What do you immediately see? Because what I immediately see are these cutouts. Okay, so this is this is the top of your, the top of your switch will go here, the, the bottom will place here. But check out these cutouts. Okay, that, that's for your Joy-Cons. They fit snugly in there. Same with where the, the base of the switch goes right here. So the, uh, the triggers, right? The shoulder buttons fit nicely into here. This, this thing is, is cut out exactly to form fit your switch. And what that means is when this thing is closed and your switch is in it, it's not moving. It's not moving anywhere. That means no scratches, no dings. You can drop this thing. I mean, I do it, I do it on the camera, but like, I am so like, I'm the kind of guy that would get a case for my case. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, um, but it feels so solid. So you just put your switch in, let's do this. Boop, 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 boop. This is a very impromptu video, by the way, but I, I recently got it and I wanted to share, I wanted to share it with you because I was actually quite impressed. So I'm just going to place it in there. I'll show you. So it's in there now. See how like sort of flat it lays, but but the joy con stick up. And so when you close this, those holes that we saw. Whoop. Now listen, shake in front of the camera. Or um <laughs> it's not moving, man. It's not moving, and that's what I love about this case. This thing is solid. It's solid, it's wonderful. So if you're looking for a cheap case, or not cheap, but um you know, affordable, I should say, inexpensive. Check out the Amazon Basics switch case. I, I have the link to it in my description below. Um, honestly, for its price, it's probably one of the better minimalistic cases you can get for your switch for travel. Like this thing, I'd have no problem throwing into a backpack or carrying with me. Uh, and, and I have zero worries with this when my switch is in this. Now, I'm going to show you something I don't like, because this isn't like the end-all, be-all case. There, there are some things I don't like about it, uh, specifically one thing. Let me show you. My switch, get my switch out of there. And that's this piece. Now, this does come with the ability to hold game cards. I can switch this, flip this down here. So here, you can hold up to eight game cards. But here's where, where this thing this is probably where they cut back some of the cost, right? So it can make it a little bit more affordable. Is that this, this piece here, let me bring it back here. This piece here is like a flexible plastic, kind of like that, 
it's not necessarily the cheapest plastic. It's not like that plastic where, you know what I'm talking about where it gets cold and it cracks, right? It's like right on the edge of being that kind of plastic. It's, it's almost, it's not completely rubbery, but it, it, it scares me a little bit only because I can see it. If you use these slots a lot, cause the, the game cards just slide right in, right? There's a, there's a hole here. I can show you, let me uh, get a game card. Let me give a game card to show you. All right, got Mario Tennis Aces here, which I just recently picked up. Listen, I just got this Switch. I'm loving it so far. I, I grabbed a whole whack load of games. Um, I haven't played them all yet, but anyway, I'm just gonna slide this in here bloop, like that so I can show you. All right, so they, they're like little pockets right there, uh, right here. All right, slide in and out. So I can see after a while this, the, like if, if you're not careful, like if you get this for like a kid or something and they're just tearing them out, I can see it maybe eventually tearing. That scares me. Um, I'm, I'm pretty careful with my stuff, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm actually more concerned about, and that's this where it's attached to, this piece right here. This doesn't fold. Like this doesn't like, it's not on a hinge. You zoom in, there you go, right? It's not on a hinge. It's just that plastic being bent. And I can, I can see that over time eventually tearing. Now, obviously it hasn't yet because I just got this thing. So I'm not sure your mileage may vary. Um, that's really the only downside I can see to this. Um, I don't know if the latch will ever get worn out, maybe. But for the price, I think it's like, I think I pay like uh, 20 bucks for it or something. Maybe less. It's, uh, it's great. That, that's really the only, that's where, I, that's where I'd take a point away. Like I'd give this thing four out of five stars. Just, it's, it just works, right? It's just, uh, it does the job, at least for me personally. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys were looking for a case for your Switch, Amazon Basics, Nintendo Switch case, very simple. The thing is built like a tank. I can't recommend it enough. Um, the only downside is I think the, uh, the, the, the card holder piece, but... I think that's minor because this, its job is to protect your Switch, and I think it does it very, very well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next videos. Later.